Hi, and welcome to another edition of Credit Matters TV. I'm Arturo Sanchez. 2018 will show improved prospects in terms of regional GDP growth in Latin American largest economies, those of Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Mexico, Panama, and Peru. The latter, thanks to continued global GDP growth, especially in developed economies and China, and only gradual monetary tightening in the U.S., Europe, and other advanced economies, as well as a stable or improving commodity prices given that global demand remains healthy, which aids economic stability or improvements. Consequently, for 2018, we expect shinier prospects for the great majority of Latin American banks. Nevertheless, Latin America faces some downside risk in 2018, particularly in the political arena. This year, the region will hold several presidential elections, highlighting those in Colombia, Mexico, Brazil, and Venezuela. There are also other highly anticipated congressional elections in other Latin American countries. Adding to the uncertainties around elections, we're closely following the North American Free Trade Agreement renegotiation process to assess its potential short- and long-term impacts to Mexico's economy and financial system. Overall, we believe that many Latin American banks will have better prospects this year. Regional GDP growth should generally improve, and controlled lending growth, manageable asset quality metrics with sound reserve coverage, and adequate or strong risk-adjusted capitalization should all contribute to better 2018 prospects. Still, upcoming elections in various Latin American countries, as well as the NAFTA renegotiations, add a note of uncertainty to this year's outlook. Thanks for watching and see you in our next edition of Credit Matters TV.